Unit 6 Tools for Program Analysis Lesson Runtime Analysis and Code Inspector Lesson Overview In this lesson, you will learn about the basic functions and the purpose of the Program Analysis Tools, Runtime Analysis and Code Inspector. This is only a brief introduction to the tools. Business example. You are to check your programs for performance, typical semantic programming errors, and security gaps. Let's start with the runtime analysis. The runtime analysis tool makes it possible to take detailed measurements of the runtime requirements of your programs. You can use it to localize low performance source code blocks in your programs and tune them if necessary. However, always note that the measurement results depend on the current system and network load, as well as the current table buffer and dataset. The initial screen of the runtime analysis looks something like this. To display the initial screen of the runtime analysis or to execute this tool, you can navigate to a program, then right click, select the execute function and then select the runtime analysis. After that, this screen will be presented to you. In here, you can analyze the performance of a transaction, a program, or a function model. You just need to specify the name in the input field. And then you click on execute. It is always important to create your own variant. Another way to start the runtime analysis is by executing trans transaction SE30 from the menu path field. You can measure not only programs but also transactions and function models with regard to their runtime. Hint: It is advisable to create your own measurement variant with a setting aggregation none and to use this for the measurement since a detailed analysis of the measurement results is only possible with this. Execute is used to start the runtime analysis. The generated measurement results are stored in a measurement related file. The analyze button shows percentage and absolute evaluations of the measurement results. Here the runtime actions are separated into three areas. ABAP. This means all ABAP statements are except database accesses are evaluated. Database. All database accesses are evaluated. And system. Program load processes, including generation if necessary and other system activities, are measured and presented. Using the appropriate push buttons, you can call up the detailed display you require. You can display the ABAP statement that belongs to an action by selecting the action with the mouse pointer and choosing display source code. Hint: Choosing tips and tricks on the initial screen of the runtime analysis takes you to a demo environment where useful performance hints are explained and illustrated by means of runtime comparisons of various source codes. Let's navigate into the system, let's log in, and let's take a look at the runtime analysis tool. So, once inside the system, we have two ways to access the runtime analysis tool. One is by navigating to transaction SE30, and then 
you are presented with the ADAPT runtime analysis initial screen. In here you can define a transaction, a program, or a function model to evaluate, create a variant, remember you have to create your own variant and then execute, and then analyze its runtime and performance. So you can find uh, segments of code that need to be optimized. Another way to access the runtime analysis is by navigating through transaction SD80 and navigating to your program. So let's navigate to our uh, Z flight package and let's analyze our flight report program, the one that we created earlier in the case studies. So we can right click on the program, select execute and select runtime analysis. In here I'm going to specify this a program and then I'm going to create a new variant so this variant is going to be called the flight analysis variant and then I click on create now in this other screen I specify a description so this is the Runtime analysis variant for the flight report. Then I click on statements and then I make sure all of these options are selected except internal tables and the kernel level runtime administration and on duration type I make sure aggregation none is selected because the aggregation none examines all of your code including every every single detail so let's select none and let's save our variant now we can go back our analysis variant was created and we can execute our program so that it starts analyzing our program so we click on execute and our program is presented so we run our program like we normal normally do so let's select american airlines remember that we have the authorization only for american airlines still and let's specify a flight number let's specify flight number 17 and let's run our program as usual so we can see the data is displayed and then we, co we can go back and then back again and then we go back to the runtime analysis and you can see a message displayed the runtime analysis of the c -fly report has finished. So now we can look at its results. So here in the window below we can look at the evaluate fi file and other files and the file information and we can delete the file so every time a runtime analysis is executed a file is created and you can evaluate that file or if you want to look for previous files you can use the other file button let's click on evaluate our recently created file so a graphic is displayed when you can see the statements executed so the ABAP the database and the system remember as we were talking in the powerpoint so we can go back and let's take a look at the powerpoint remember the runtime actions are separated in three areas the ABAP, the database and the system so in the ABAP all ABAP statements except database access were evaluated so in the ABAP statements was where most of the time was executed 95.9 time of the time was spent on the ABAP statements on the database access only 2.9 and on the system only 1.3 so as you can see the database access is running pretty good and we do not need to optimize our select statements because it only takes 2% of our time we can take a look at the options we, we 
the runtime analysis presents to us. So for example, we can use the hit list. Let's click and we can look at all the calls that were executed in our program. We can look the call hierarchy by clicking on call hierarchy. And for example, for I want to see the call hierarchy for the call function of the tab control destroyer. So I position myself on the function and I click on the call hierarchy. So when the call, the call function tab control is called, then the tab control array is called, and then these imports from memory are executed. This performs a call and so on. I can see all the calls for that function. I, so let's go back. We also have the group hit list. It's basically similar to the hit list, but it groups our call methods, call functions, performance, and then we can always select one and look at the hierarchy call. Let's go back. We have the database table hit list. So we can see all the transparent tables that were accessed in our program. So for example, in our report, remember we accessed the S flight and the S car tables for this example. And all the other tables are called by the system. We can filter our results by using the display filter. So for example, if we only want to display, we don't want to display, for example, the open SQL. So we click there, we click OK. And then if we want to look at the database table hit list, then we can see no entry is available. This is because in the display filter, we don't want to display the open SQL uh, entries. So we can select all and everything, all, and all of these options are going to be displayed in our results. And we can continue examining using, for example, the method hit list to examine all the methods that were called. We see a lot of results in our small program because remember that we are also uh, viewing the system call. The internal table hit list. We don't have internal tables called, so th this list contains no data. We can look at some statistics, for example, of the load size, the define method, the call method, etc. So this tool can tell us exactly where a program needs to be optimized or not. You can examine the, pro the runtime analysis tool by yourself and explore the different options in the menu. If you go back then your file gets stored in this area and you can call another files from another time if you want to make multiple analysis of different files. You can always use the tips and tricks to take a look at the different tips and tricks for a map objects and their measurement and to measure the runtime. So I'm sorry, the screen is a little bit it's missing there a little bit. There you go. So for example, if I want to measure the select plus check statement versus the select with work condition I select here and I measure my runtime and then the system ex executes both statements and then it displays the runtime in microseconds for each one so for example in this case the runtime for the select with the check takes 1,000,000 120 microseconds and the select with the word class uses 45,000 microseconds as you can see it is better to use a select with the word class and you can examine and explore 
of the different selects you can use and the different options and you can always examine it their time so for example in internal tables we can always use the measurement time and we can see this take one microsecond and this takes no microseconds we can examine the if versus the case to see which one is faster and they both take exactly the same time so it doesn't matter if you use if or case the select and the exit and the select up to one row this one is way more faster so you can take a look at this tool and examine which one is faster and you can decide which one to use in your programs let's take a look at another, another useful tool that is the code inspector